Now, Michael sent me a note saying, here's my take on modern bureaucracy with transparent tendering as to why it takes so long to change a light bulb that goes out on a lamppost. Step one, the process would start with the person receiving the phone call and logging the street light as being malfunctioning. The complaint would then need to be sent to middle management who would sort the complaint into the appropriate department for the complaint to be sent to. Once this has been done, it would then be sent to senior management for approval. Step two, the complaint would then be sent to the maintenance department who would then be required to have an advert in the paper uh, requesting suitably qualified contracts to register their interest for repairs of said street light. Step three, once the council has received a number of suitable contractors registering their interest, the council would then require an extensive period of time to evaluate the contractors that registered their interest. Once this was complete, the contractors that were selected by the council would then be asked to provide a tender for replacement of the light bulb and would be provided an extensive period of time to put this together. Step four, once the contractors have submitted their tender price for replacement of the light bulb, the council would then require an extensive period of time to evaluate the contractor tender pricing. Step five, once the council has selected the appropriate contractor, they would then be notified by the council that they had been successful in winning the tender. Step six, the contractor would then schedule the work into their work program and then order a replacement bulb that would have a ridiculous lead time for the bulb to be shipped in from overseas. Step seven, the bulb would then arrive and the contractor would be all ready to go, but it would rain. Health and safety requirements would kick in. That would mean it would be too slippery for the worker to use the ladder. Step eight, the bulb replacement would then be scheduled for the next available slot the contractor has, but it would not be able to be undertaken on this date because the company providing traffic management with three management trucks, two men operating stop and go signs and 40 road cones would not be able to provide their services on this day to meet health and safety requirements. Step nine, the bulb replacement would then be scheduled for the next available slot the contractor has available that aligns with the traffic management contractor. Step ten, when this aligns with the contractor who will be replacing the light bulb and the traffic management contractor. The traffic management contractor would then arrive on site with three traffic management trucks, two men operating stop and go signs and 40 road cones to make it safe for the contractor to work. The contractor would then get up the ladder, provided it's not raining, to take the bulb out and install the new bulb. When up the ladder, the contractor finds that the bulb is the wrong one because the council records indicating the street light type was wrong, which meant that the wrong bulb was ordered from overseas. And finally, step 11, the process would then start all over again from step 6 and be repeated until the correct bulb was installed and working.